Having symptoms of hay fever can be awful, but your symptoms should ease off once you're indoors. If they don't, you may not have hay fever. You could have an allergic reaction to insulation. Here are some tips to help solve some allergic reactions. If your symptoms are worse indoors, tiny particles of fiberglass insulation may have broken off and become airborne. Some types may even cause eye and sight issues due to off-gassing allergens, which may be trickier to spot. You can't see either of these, but they can cause ongoing discomfort and even blindness. Problems with breathing, frequent cough, sneezing, or chest pain can indicate you have an irritation caused by insulation breaking down to a small size. As fiberglass ages, its strands can come apart and become airborne. This glass is easily inhaled and causes scratches and cuts on surfaces it touches. If it enters the lungs, it can result in severe respiratory conditions and illnesses. If thick industrial gloves are not used when handling insulation, the material can cut your skin and cause irritations. Spray foam insulation is a water-blown foam that expands to fill the space around it to seal off. It creates a water and airtight seal around the area, protecting it while keeping it warm, dry, and comfortable. Spray foam does not break down over time. The chemical makeup of the material means that it will not be eaten by pests and its water tightness ensures it will not transport anything damp to the interior, therefore avoiding the growth of mold. Isoning spray foam insulation can be left exposed safely and can even brighten spaces.